How's it going, sports fans? I'm Chad Roderick, and we've got a packed show for you, so let's jump right into it. 12th-ranked CMU Volleyball swept Fort Lewis in Durango to stay undefeated on the season. ABCA honorable mention All-American setter Sabrina Vandalist had a great performance with 32 assists and 7 digs. In 10 games, the Mavs have been dominant, only dropping 4 sets so far this season. CMU women's soccer traveled to Durango as well to take on West Texas A&M in a neutral site game and beat the Buffaloes 2-1. Mikhail Ecker and Sovalin Randall both scored for the Mavs in this one. CMU stays undefeated at 5-0. They face New Mexico Highlands on the road next Friday. Now the CMU men's soccer team are also on the road in Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada. They face the only Canadian NCAA team in Simon Fraser. After 57 minutes, neither the Mavericks and the Red Leaves have found the net tied at zero. Let's switch to some football. The Fruit of Wildcats hit the road to take on Grandview in Aurora in a 5A4A matchup. And it's a tough 42-1 loss for the Wildcats and they fall to 500 on the year at 2-2, two and two. Fruita will be in the Denver area next week as well, taking on Bear Creek next Friday. Now let's move to college football with CMU starting Armac play at South Dakota Mines. And the Mavs escape with the win 38-30 to over the Hard Rockers. Maverick quarterback Gavin Herberg finished the game with 199 passing yards and a touchdown and 430. 43 yards on the ground and two rushing touchdowns. CMU return home next Saturday to face the Yellow Jackets of Black Hills State at 1.05 p.m. And now it's time. Well, obviously, we know that uh, Colorado leads the all-time series 67-22-2. and two. Colorado's won the last five. You know, I reminded our players that there was a span in 1999 um, where Colorado State won three out of four years. And that was a pretty good time here at this university. And we remember that. We're winning, but we're not playing our best football. That's a tremendous sign, and we can't wait to build off that. We, we want to show you a game that we put it together offensively, defensively, as well as special teams. We want to show our fan base that game. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Rocky Mountain Showdown and the battle for the Centennial Cup. And this year, it's extra heated. And it's been a rough game so far as even before the first whistle, the teams got into a scuffle. There have been a lot of penalties and sloppy play from both sides. And this one looks closer than what analysts predicted with the Rams on top. Colorado State 21, Colorado 14 at the half. Now that's all the time we have for sports. We'll have highlights from the Rocky Mountain Showdown for you tomorrow. I'm Chad Roderick. More news after the break.